Hello one and all and welcome back to more sizzling slugfests on Grudge Match Unlimited, the show that takes our favorite characters of various fandom and bridges the cosmic divide so they can engage in some good old violence for the glory of bragging rights. Today's episode pulls two plucky young protagonists from Video Game Fair. It's the savior of Hyrule and holder of the Triforce of Courage, Link, against the master of the Keyblade and Scourge of the Heartless, Sora. Both of these two characters are fairly young teenage protagonists who were living seemingly ordinary lives when Destiny chose them, actual both of them are the chosen ones, to defend their friends and their entire worlds from the scourge of evil and evil power that came to take over. Also, even though both of these characters develop high level of fighting skills and magical abilities and basically trounce really powerful enemies, they both seem to maintain a certain amount of youthful exuberance and naivete, meaning they don't become hardened, almost angry characters. They both hold on to their childlike innocence all throughout their stories. So taking a look at them individually and starting with Link, as the protagonist of the very popular and long-standing Legend of Zelda series, Link goes all the way back to 1986 and the very first Legend of Zelda game, and has been the protagonist of all of the games in the Legend of Zelda series ever since, dozens of games strong. He's a member of the Hylian race, even though he came from humble beginnings and grew up in the woods surrounded by all of the other woodland dwellers. He is seemingly chosen at random by the Triforce to be the wielder of the Triforce of Courage and becomes the chosen one who is supposed to protect the entire Triforce and the entire land of Hyrule from evil and that evil often takes the form of the evil King Ganondorf. Now in order to defeat Ganondorf and all of his minions, Link possesses a variety of skills and traits, the most notable of which is his primary weapon, the Master Sword. This has been a long-standing weapon that Link has used in most all of the games throughout the Legend of Zelda series. It's a famed sword that has many unique properties, most of which rely on its ability to dispel evil and to banish certain magical spells. While in possession of the Master Sword, Link is immune to many types of different spells that the evil King Ganondorf likes to use on many of the other characters, including Zelda herself. So the Master Sword protects Link from a lot of evil enchantments as well as seems to be able to cut through and dispel magical enemies as well. In addition to the Master Sword, Link also is regularly seen using a shield. He uses these in combination with each other, shield for defense and sword for offense. He also wields a fairy bow and various types of magical arrows. He has a tendency to use bombs and explosives quite a bit. He's proficient with boomerangs, with slingshots, hook shots, and just a whole variety of medieval types of weaponry, but much of them empowered with various enchantments and magical abilities as well. He's also fairly musically adept and has been seen using several types of magical instruments that have a variety of effects as well from moving time around or teleporting himself from one place to another. But most often he frequently utilizes his sword fighting skills in combat. The Triforce of Courage that he possesses doesn't seem to have any direct abilities that it bestows upon him beyond just the courage and ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. So Link is often seen fighting vastly seemingly more powerful foes and sometimes giant monstrous creatures and is able to overcome them time and time again. Sora, the protagonist of the Kingdom Hearts video game series, was created in 2002. And throughout the entire Kingdom Hearts series, he's had run-ins with several other famous characters from the world of Disney cartoons and movies, and also the realms of Final Fantasy. And he's just had a lot of run-ins with various characters and has defeated incredibly powerful adversaries himself. And he's able to do this because he is the chosen wielder of the Keyblade. 
Sora grew up on a small island known as Destiny Island, but then when the Heartless, a seemingly race of beings who have their hearts and essentially their souls magically removed, and then they become shadow-like creatures known as the Heartless, started spilling out all across the multiverse, the Keyblade chose a wielder, it's a magical sword in the shape of a key that allows its wielder to fight against the Heartless, even though normal weapons seemingly have no effect on them. Through the power of the Keyblade, Sora has had his physical skills enhanced, so by the end of the series he has seemed to be very fast, very strong, capable of jumping great heights, in some cases even flying or gliding on the air, as well as enabling him to wield various magical spells, which he has increased his proficiency with under the tutelage of Merlin the Magician. Now these magic spells include a variety of things such as casting fire, ice, lightning bolts, air force fields, healing himself, of uh, just a variety of magical spells that he's able to wield. But most often, like Link, he prefers to use his fighting skills with his Keyblade, and that's his primary method of attack, and it's the way he has vanquished many, many vastly powerful foes throughout the entire Kingdom Hearts series. While Sora seemingly would have the edge in terms of his magical abilities, magical skills granted to him by both the spells he knows as well as the powers of the Keyblade, a lot of Sora's magical abilities come down to utilizing help from other people. He's often accompanied by Goofy and Donald as his teammates, and he oftentimes will use magical spells that require all three of them to work, and other times he uses summon spells, summoning very powerful characters from Disney lore like Simba the Lion or the Beast to fight beside him. But since grudge matches are one-on-one, -on -one, all of those powers that require other people and other teammates in order to help him would not be able to be allowed and Sora wouldn't be able to call on those in this fight. But that doesn't mean he's helpless because he is still very powerful with the Keyblade itself and in certain fights in the Kingdom Hearts series he's had to fight very powerful enemies one on one and has come out on top. So having taken a look at the skills, powers, and abilities, and weaponry of these two characters, it's time to determine who would win if they were to ever cross swords one-on-one. -on -one. That winner's going to be... Sora. Now the reason the protagonist of the Kingdom Hearts series is going to walk away the victor of this fight is because Link has a lot of great skills and weaponry at his disposal which would allow him to hit Sora and decrease his hit points to a fairly good degree, not just with his sword, but also with the bow and arrow, the bombs, the boomerang, the slingshots. The problem is, is that one of Sora's most potent magical skills is the ability to heal himself. Anybody who's played the Kingdom Hearts series knows that you link your healing spell to a quick button and fire it off quite frequently anytime your health gets low and Sora is healed back to close to full health instantly. This isn't an ability that follows Link around very often in any of the Zelda games. Sometimes he may happen to have a fairy potion or a fairy in a bottle and that allows him to heal if he ever runs out of energy, but that uh, uh, is a one-time use kind of a thing so that would only heal him once, maybe twice if he has two of them on him, whereas Sora can keep popping out his heal spell over and over and over. Also, Sora's magical abilities give him long-range attacks, so Link can't just stay at a distance using his bow and arrow or his boomerang, because Sora can still throw lightning, can throw fire, can throw ice, and while Link's shield would be a good mode of defense for a lot of this, it's not going to be something Sora can't get around eventually, because another factor that goes into Sora's abilities is he tends to be very, very quick on his feet when fighting characters in the Kingdom Hearts series. Sora has even bested in the games Cloud, Leon, and even Sephiroth from the Final Fantasy series three incredibly powerful, incredibly skilled swordsmen, so that gives Sora a lot of cred to his sword fighting abilities. So based on his quickness, his magical spells allowing him to heal himself and attack from a distance, and just the overall epic power of the Keyblade, Sora is going to take home the win in this grudge match unlimited. 
So message me down below, let me know what you think of this outcome and any suggestions for future fights. We'll see you on the next edition of Grudge Match Unlimited.